I will get a six pack in three weeks. taught Ray English this morning. Now it's time for breakfast at my all-time favorite Diva. They have insanely good food. Seem like you want to say something. Something. I'll get a six-pack in three weeks. My action plan is five days straight. I'll only drink water. No food whatsoever. After that, for 16 days, one salad per day. Somebody has told me I should get a lighting ring, but I figure there's no better lighting ring than the sun. So I'm just standing here in the burning sunshine for that reason. People here are looking at me like I'm completely crazy. To be fair, it is slightly crazy to expose yourself to these levels of heat just for a good shot. So for the next three weeks, an underlying theme in the vlog will be me not eating and sparsely eating. I've never actually gotten a six pack in three weeks, but I did manage to not eat for five days straight, which was actually not that hard. And I did lose weight from that. So it's a good starting off point for me. I'm not recommending anyone to do this, okay? I'm not saying that this is healthy or anything like that. Do not do this if you are not really sure about what you are doing. I've done this before and I know it works for me. Five days of no eating, not really a problem. However, if you already start getting the shakes after you miss one meal, I'm not sure this is for you, you know? I cleaned it. You did? Very shiny. <laughs> hey, what you got there? Socks. For what? We're going to play a game. Really? Yeah. What game is that? Lunch walking game. What is that in the front? It's my license plate. Is that your lucky number? Because I got, got a new car. We're on the way to Diva now, where we are going to play an awesome game, obligatory rest stop. We buy water here because it saves us half the money of what they charge in the restaurant. As far as I know, in most countries, this is considered a bad habit. Unless, of course, they really specify that you can bring your own or something like that. Here in Thailand, it's usually not a big deal. I don't know why it's so different here. Here's mama already. Hey mama. He is so fast on that bike. You can go again if you want to. Time to see if our food is ready. I'm ready for the food, but is the food ready for me? Ray is kind of obsessed with license plates. Wait. So what does that mean? They just got a car. They just got it. Okay, it's a new car. Anything else? Let's go. Capcom crap. This and this is the last food for me for the next 120 hours. <sighs> that was extremely nice. Before and after. Look at that. You can see some resemblance of a six pack pod. Way too much fat. What are we going to do, Ray? Mama. Why? Is she lost? Yeah. Let's see if we can find any arrows. Look at this. Follow me, guys. That's mine, right? Silly. That's what I wrote. Look at this. One, two, three, four, five. Crazy. Can you dance like crazy? Let's see if we can find the next arrow. Hello, five times. Hello, birds. Hello, birds. 
Hello birds. Hello birds. Hello birds. Hello birds. How are you doing? Hello birds. You have six hands. Four, five. Mail to the world. Ray, it doesn't say smell to the world, but smile to the world. <laughs> I'm smiling to the world. What is this? Find me. find me. Do you think we can find her? Oh, there she is! Ah, Mama! Thank you! Thank you very much! Ray, this is unbelievably more beautiful. My son and my wife made that. My son made that. There's an artist in him. It's clearly from his mother's side that he is getting that. As I couldn't make anything close to that, I'm really proud of that. It is so beautiful. One of these days I'm going to make an exposition, dedicate a whole vlog to all the art that Ray and Kung have been making because it's a lot. It's, they've been doing this for months now and one of the reasons I'm never in that is because this is a project that Kung and Ray basically do together all the time. I'm really bad at art. I do enjoy art, but I, I can't paint. I'm more of a graffiti guy. I'm not saying I'm any good at it. I like dawdling sometimes. I like to try to make some outlines and letters and colors and stuff, but I cannot make anything like that. No way. Ray is learning patience from this and Ray is getting a lot of um, inspiration from this, I think. I believe he can express himself in ways that he otherwise couldn't. For example, this one, I will tell you the story behind it. It's a Japanese book translated into Thai and it's basically about animals that live in a tree. The tree has 10 floors and they all live together and all the animals are very friendly towards each other. No one gets hurt as far as I know and we hope to teach him some compassion towards animals from this story. And he was so inspired by this story that he actually drew this tree in the painting. And it has also 10 floors. It has 10 floors. Those are the floors. That says tree house right there. I feel like a snack. I could, you know, very easily devour a plate of food right now. I'm not going to. Only 116 hours to go. So far, so good. Mystery solved. I was just sitting here at the table, comfortably relaxed. Then, staff runs past the table, no explanations whatsoever, goes behind the stage over there and runs back. And I'm like, what's going on here? And like the regular 007 that I am, of course I went to check it out. I discovered there's a fuse box, a fuse box is hidden there behind that stage. So, she probably switched something on or off. It's a mystery! And it has something to do with the fuse box. I'm on to you guys. <laughs> I'm on to you.